Tonight, we're digging into how the Commonwealth's attorney charged seven deputies with killing an inmate. You're watching 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. Those seven deputies whose booking photos you see right here on your screen have all been charged with second degree murder. The charges are in connection with the death of 28 year old Irvo Otieno. This story involves not only several officers, but several dates and multiple agencies as well. So we want to walk you through the timeline here now. First, as you can see on March 2nd, Henrico police say Otieno's neighbor called concerned about his behavior. That call for service later classified as a mental health problem. Then on March 3rd, Henrico police say they responded to a call of a possible burglary. Officers, with the help of a crisis intervention team, placed Otieno under an emergency custody order. But at the hospital's crisis receiving center, police say Otieno, quote, became physically assaultive towards officers. He was arrested and taken to Henrico West Jail. This is when the sheriff's deputies get involved. A few days later on March 6th, deputies transported Otieno to Central State Hospital, a psychiatric facility. They arrived at 3.58 p.m. to admit him, they say, and by 7.28 p.m., Virginia State Police had been called to investigate his death. Now, eight days later, today, the announcement from the Dinwiddie County Commonwealth's attorney that seven Henrico deputies had turned themselves in to state police on second degree murder charges. But in that announcement, the Commonwealth's attorney acknowledged her move to charge those deputies involved an unusual procedure. Eight News reporter Roland Wilson is police headquarters after looking into this. And so, Roland, what does make this unusual? Yeah, Deanna, Eric, the charges that these deputies are facing are defined as criminal information. Now, legally, that is equivalent to an arrest warrant. The Commonwealth's attorney says that making an arrest this way here in Virginia is rare, but was needed in order to protect other Henrico County jail residents. This is unusual. 8 News analyst Russ Stone weighing in tonight after Dinwiddie Commonwealth's attorney and Baskerville announced that seven officers are now facing murder charges in connection to the death of 28-year-old Irvo Otieno. Unfortunately, deaths in jails do occur, um, but I can't remember the last time that a uh, jail employee or a deputy sheriff was actually charged with an offense. We are still working to learn exactly what happened during Otieno's medical transport to Central State Hospital, a psychiatric hospital in Dinwiddie, back on March 6th. Deputies say Otieno was combative during the intake process. Authorities say he was restrained and later died. Tonight, seven Henrico deputies turned themselves in each now facing one felony count of second degree murder. They are identified as 57 year old Randy Boyer, 37 year old Dwayne Bramble, 45 year old Jermaine Branch, 43 year old Bradley Dissay, 50 year old Tabitha Lavere, 48 year old Brandon Rogers, and 30 year old Kyle Sanders, all now on administrative leave. 8 News has requested the policies and protocols surrounding the transportation of inmates from the Enrico Sheriff's Office. While we do not have that information as of yet, Stone tells me the use of force on an inmate suffering with mental health challenges will play a key role in this case. If the victim was attacking the deputies at the time, then the question would become whether or not whatever force they used was reasonable. As for cause of death, that is unknown. The Commonwealth is going to have to prove that all seven of these deputies deliberately engaged in behavior uh, to kill a human being. And that, that's always a hard thing to prove. I have reached out to the Dinwiddie Commonwealth's attorney along with the sheriff's office in Henrico County just for a comment and they both tell me they are not accepting interviews at this time. Now all seven officers are expected to be in court tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Chesterfield tonight, Roland Wilson, 8 News. And you can look for the latest on air and online. Roland, thanks very much.